All right, so let's get this real quick. This is um It's no healing this place, so there's no going back. All right, there's no um better outcome for this place. This place is um uh, This place is sick. All right, you have a, a person on the deathbed, you know, they're sitting there, you know, basically decaying away in their own flesh. All right, perishing. All right, there's no, there's no, um, there's no fix for America. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Why? Because she has those worms laid under her. All right, there's a there's a, a a stop and halt in the in the society over here, and it's been brought by the Lord. All right, why? Because the Lord is making inquisition on this place. Jeremiah fifty one and nine. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord. Yahweh Bashmi al Shai. And that's what I'm doing now. The reason for the decline in the economy, the, the reason for um, <laughs> um, the inflation, the reason for uh, just the overall uh, stoppage of America and society and the slowdown is because of the Lord, man. This place is waxing old and it's, it's, it's about to perish, man. Let me see if I can get another scripture real quick. Let's go to Revelation. Um, let's see what they have in here. Damn, it's the spirit. Let's just go there. This is Revelation 18. This is Revelation 18 and... We'll just start at 1. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Verse 4, and I heard an another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins. All right, so eventually, before this place is completely destroyed, all right, the Lord is going to what? Call us up into the chariots, all right, before that final destruction comes. But we're in the process of what? The Lord taking this place down little by little, like we read in the Old Testament. Why? Because this place has waxed uh, proud. This place has almost it's almost at the pinnacle of wickedness and that's what the lord is waiting for the lord is waiting on that measurement right that's why you have scriptures like like uh new test in the new testament where the lord tells men fill you up the measures of your fathers fill you up this because it, the lord does everything in his own time and at perfect measures and now we're getting towards that point where what america is reaching the pinnacle of its uh wickedness man all right and it's going to eventually be taken down and the it's a process with the Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, and we're seeing it. We're inside of it. We just have to continue to endure. Revelation 18. Um, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins, and that she receive not of her plagues. 
For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. All right. So since the Most High has remembered her iniquities, what? It's time to take her down. All right. It's time to. <laughs> it's time like uh, like the Lord numbered um. The Babylonian kingdom. And told Nebuchadnezzar's son that everything is numbered, you're found wanting. So that's how you know the Lord does everything in measure. And there's precise amounts of time where what? He lets kingdoms rule and then he starts to, over time, put them under decline into their destruction. And that's what you're seeing happen with America. All right, so it's just a matter of time before this place is uh is up out of here, man. All right, and we're shit, we're right on the cusp of that. You got the the war with Ukraine. You got the war over there in uh in the east. You got things heating up over there. So obviously, though, we have to wet, watch, wait, you know, and pray and continue to endure. But the Lord is uh He's going. He's He's bringing forth His word, man. Okay, so and then you got more of our people waking up. So you know this everything's going according to the scriptures, and according to prophecy. So. I'm not gonna make this too long. I could get tons of other scriptures, but you know, that was the main point. You know, so Lord willing that was edifying, call Hello, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, citations to Yahim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom and the Baba Ball.